na naman na tapo ko. Hello? How are we doing? Is the question of the day. Hello, police and the mystic theorist, of course. Of course. Of course. Hey, I'm the Violet Flame too. How'd that? How'd they get that mixed up? That we could both do it? I don't know. Nobody told me. Nobody told me. That somebody else could also be the Violet Flame. I'm fine with it. And then are we one big flame? Are we one big flame? If we do that, are we? Yes. Answer is yes. I'm in India. Uh -huh. I'm in India. I'm in India. I'm in India. Join together. Dearly beloved. Hey, what's up, Margo? Hi. Welcome back. Welcome back for another week. The Blue Rose Witch is here. Oh. We're doing a big blast. Oh, Lars Ratchet, huh? The Indio Flame. I had an Indio Flame once. Out by the barber shop. Hello, big sexies. That's a good way to enter a room if I've ever heard one. A little glass watermelon. Hey, big sexies. You come into work and you say that. <laughs> I used to get laughs sometimes at my old job when people would come in. Oily Joe is here. Bless, bless. People would come in in the morning and I would say, Good morning, coworker. Welcome to your job. And they liked that, but it's no, Hey, big sexies. That's how you that's how you win win some friends in the workplace. Surreal chemist is back. Everybody everybody get out of here. Give us some alone time. Uh Oh. Good morning, fuckers. That's a good one. My friends love when I walk up to a group and say that. How could they not? Good morning, fuckers is good. Like greeting your friends with an insult. Right Thanks away, for so that's a big Press the hit bell with icon my friends. And subscribe for more videos. What's up, cowards? Hey, you little idiots! During my PhD, I'd say to colleagues, "Excellence in scholarship, colleague." <laughs> that's really good. Yeah, what's up, rat dicks? That's a fun one. What else? What else have I done? Oh, I sometimes it's fun to call people genius, not in a sarcastic or insulting way, but just like. You see, you see any friends go, oh, what's up, genius? What up? Or make, or make, make one. What up, zoo? I used to do that to a guy. What up, zoo? Any BGEs these days? You know, I think it's time for another one. It's been too long. Time for another BG. Sup player is very good. 
you geniuses. Yeah, that's good. Like, um, a big gay experiment, actually, is what it is. Howdy. Fub, yeah, dabbies. That's fun. It reminds in Hot Rod, there's the part where, uh, I can't remember what character. It might be Rico. Says, you who shitheads. Which, that's a really good one. That's a great way to greet a group. You who shitheads. What's happening, my brother in Christ? Hey! <laughs> Friends of mine and I used to go, Hey, little babies. Oh, little babies. Like, you're greeting people as little babies in the thought of just the, the very thought of the babies that you are greeting makes you stop and go, Oh, little babies. Sup, little babies. Oh, little babies. That was, a, that was a fun one. How now, sluts? <laughs> this is a fun game. <laughs> you genesis. Old babies. What's up, old baby? Hey, you old babies. That's very good. I've come in, I've come in contact lately with, uh, you know, I don't know. Age, I suppose. I find that... I maybe have not grown up as much as some of my peers, and that's all that I will say about that. <laughs> I find that maybe I, maybe I am not uh, quite as, I don't know, serious sometimes, I don't know, I don't know, hey, what am I saying? I'm saying I crack wise a lot, kind of a lot. And I already knew this about myself, and I, and I love this about myself, but yeah, maybe lately I've just been finding that a lot of people would not walk into a room and say something like, hey, big sexies, you know, adults are just obsolete children. There you go. There you go. I don't plan on changing anytime soon. Hey, what say we rip into this bullshit, huh? What say... We take a big whiff, take the clothes, the clothes pin off your nose and take a big whiff of my bullshit. Is everybody ready? We're gonna get the salon is hard because I have to greet coworkers as hey girlies instead of hey gamers. <laughs> We're gonna have to become boring with age. Absolutely. What's chopping, tribies? No, all you missed was just what's a fun way to greet a group. Uh, you know. Peel off the bent. Let's get the fucking nut out. Would be a, a good piss slave greeting. On your knees, my piss slaves. How's it going? Also, maybe what I've been encountering has nothing to do with age, too. I'm just used to hanging out with 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 very silly people a lot of the time. Uh, anyway, on your knees, pissies. <laughs> Fine by me. Hey, here we go. You're in my house now. Oh, you're in my house now. A slow yoki. Oh, yeah, okay. What culture has abolished the best greetings? Who redeemed it? I don't know who redeemed that. We got a solo oh, karaoke. karaoke. Well, hey, shit. First of all, if you don't know who I am, I am I am uh, Chopo. I am Mind Chopo. I'm I'm your new. Uh, I am Mondo Burger is your mom. Mondo Burger is your dad. Uh, something about thinking about me naked. If you've seen Good Burger, <laughs> Daddy is fucking home. That's Mrs. Pissums to you. Please, Mr. Pissums was my father. Call me, call me Wayne, call me Teeny Tiny Pissums. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is a live stream show, obviously, you idiot. Uh, oh, and uh, on during which you can uh, spank me, which goes like this. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? Huh? <laughs> 
Um, who redeemed that? Holly, if you know what you want me to say, well, whilst I am spanked golden shower hour, then just comment it and I'll do it again. Uh, we watch a lot of YouTube videos about religious and spiritual eccentricity and and scams and ufos and sasquatch and stuff and today is no different that's what we're doing today this is a bdsm live stream where we drink piss and spank each other and if you have a problem with that i completely understand uh yeah what am i singing what am i gonna sing is the question somebody paid for me to say hey little babies ooh little babies um what am i singing and uh, uh and who and what should i say <laughs> toyota thon is back again just got back to got to that um uh okay well everybody let me know what they want okay and I'll do it. Get your rubber suits on, dirty piss babies. <laughs> it's time to spank. I say spank a lot. I have found, uh, I, you know, I mean, just... I, especially when I think a drummer is particularly good, I say, wow, they spank. That drummer spanks. Oh, ooh, little babies. Yeah, okay, I can do that. Hey, little babies. Ooh. Oh, baby. Um, great. Well, I don't know what the slow karaoke is going to be, but, uh, <laughs> your diaper, Lebowski. Piss is the urine that explodes forth from the tip of my penis like an angry torrent of golden sunshine. Great. Well, we can just rip right in, uh, if you like. How do you like me, even? Uh, what did you join? I just explained it. You just missed it. But anyway, we're just going to watch some videos. Have you ever wondered about if cats can see ghosts? That's really what we're about to get into. So let's do it. Let's do it, huh? Absolutely. Your pets do see spirits. Many people notice when their dog is looking into a blank space into the air in a room, and some dogs even refuse to go into rooms that I am coming to investigate to see if there is paranormal. Dogs, dogs frequently refuse to come into rooms that I am in. And, and I know that that's because of ghosts. Normal activity. Cats also will be very aware. You'll see their eyes get very big staring at what seems to be nothing in a room. Now, dogs have a very different reaction where they may refuse to go into a room because this they are nut. naturally yeah. inclined to want to connect with people. So when they see a stranger or a face that doesn't quite seem so clear. I want to watch this guy spank. That's what I want for Christmas. I want to watch Riz. Uh, what's his name? I can't remember. Riz, uh, no, I don't remember his name. I'll look it up in just a second. But I want to watch him spank either way. I don't need to know somebody's name to know that I want to watch him spank. Okay, mom? Um, there's an aura or ghosts often see. Riz Mirza, thank you. Into the picture or into your vision a little bit blurred or transparent. The dog doesn't know what to do about that, so it disturbs them. So because they're wanting to connect and they realize that they can't because it's not a physical, tangible being, the dog can get very frightened and refuse to go into that room. Mm. Now, cats, they see a lot of spiritual activity in the form of orbs. There's a spot in my home where we have filmed lots of orbs flying through a particular part of the room. There's a spot in my home where we have filmed many unspeakable acts uh, and my cat will not enter this space my cat sees the ghosts of my regret the, my cat sees the consequences of my actions and my cat will not enter the rooms in which i have defiled myself the rooms in which i have defiled, defiled myself. myself my cat will my not, cat enter, will not the enter the rooms enter where i have defiled, I have defiled myself, myself, myself because, because the orbs of my shame because the, because the orbs of my shame remain um yeah so this is uh what if the dogs can smell the ghost farts well i'm sure they can if ghost farts do indeed smell now uh yeah this guy does a lot of weird 
weird channeling stuff where he puts on a Native American voice and it's not it's not really my place to say if that's racist or not but it is my place to say that it it makes me uncomfortable um but hey right now he's talking about doggies and kitty cats um yeah he does red eagle it's bad it's bad my cat suddenly looked at a painting once and we all looked it fell off the wall right in front of us hey that's a ghost that's just a ghost what's up briz latif Chopo, for sure uncomfortable. Never leave your orbs of shame hanging around. Usually I wipe them up. This is the thing. Usually I wipe up my orbs, but sometimes you forget, or sometimes there's an orb somewhere that you didn't you didn't see it go there, and then your cat won't come in the room anymore. Um, uh, no pun intended. So, hey. And we may show that to you in the future. In fact, we will show that to you in the future. Excuse but me, what are you going to show me? I missed that. I was thinking about my shame. Part of the room. And we may show that to you in the future. In fact, we were orbs. home where we have filmed lots of orbs floating oh, right. through a particular the orbs. part of the room. And we may show that to you in the future. Namaste. In fact, we will show that to you in Orb the future. Sock. But the cats stop at that spot in my den and stare into that corner of the room. They're constantly seeing these orbs come through and they're not frightened by it, but they know about it. Your cats are connected to other dimensions. That's why the Egyptians were buried with them. They knew the connection that cats have psychically. I like I like that the phrase. Oh, my cat's not afraid of it, but it but my cat is aware of that. That's fun. Help uh, help the clap of my orbs. Help the clap of my orbs alerted the cats, and they won't enter the room I'm in. Th this happens to me all the time. Is <laughs> it? Mama found my stash of orb films. Your mom threw away your best porno mags. The uh, fight for your right to party. Uh, you like you like that part? And I like the part too. Where they're like, mom, you're just jealous. It's the Beastie Boys. You know, they each take a syllable of Beastie Boys. Uh, my mom threw away my best orbule mags. Horses, of course, being the most sensitive of all the animals. Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. Sure, this is the content I crave. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. That's a very good karaoke song. I would love to do a Beastie Boys karaoke uh, with, some, with two other idiots. That would be very, very fun. Um uh no bless oh of course the horses yeah no 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 we hate horses anyone who's not aware we do we don't like horses horses by nature are skittish animals even though they're very powerful because cowards cowards and narcissists they're prey animals they tend to feel everything they're always looking out for themselves so horses yeah always looking out for themselves horses are bad this can pick up on paranormal paranormal activity very very quickly so be aware of the animal's reactions it's because they're not of this world is why. The spaces that they're in, and that will cue you into whether or not there's paranormal activity. Mm. Look at this. So good. Love the music. Very, very mind freak-esque. Hey, do you like the audio watermark that I, that's on this astral music? I didn't notice it until just the other day. Yeah, no, horses are awful. You gotta... Welcome home, friend. Rats do the work of God. What is that work, do you think? Uh, daemons. Horses are daemons. Hey, uh, where should we go next? We're, we've got some options here. Um, let's do this. Let's get... Let's get a, let's get a little nasty. Everybody want to get a little nasty? Get nasty with me. Fucking instant follow. I'll take the case. The That's a really great user. Intelligence, the first intelligence develops. It develops in utero. And its job is to provide metabolic energy to form oh, your body. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck or yeah. The connected tissue, the blood vessels. Astral plane the, Jonathan Richmond. The bones. If there's not enough energy, they break down. If enough energy, they stay alive at a baseline state. Face down. <laughs> it organizes especially the connective tissue with the primal form of... Watch, him. Watch this guy just promptly 
promptly touch touch his uh, assistant's ass. He organized here. especially the connected Boing. issue. It's a primal form of right communication there. before the organs, before the nervous system develops. It communicates faster than the nervous system. And it's just twisting one place, it's a counter twisting. <laughs> you are about to itself. find out, Margo. Before there be a heart problem, there has to be a torsion around the connective tissue. Of the okay, heart. so here's the game. Here's the game that I would like to play. The game I would like to, <laughs> he gives people orgasms with vibes. Yes. Okay, welcome Dad Tech USA. Welcome. Uh, I've gone over uh, what this show is just a little bit while ago, but I don't mind. I'll tell you again. We watch stuff about new age bullshit on YouTube. I'm a cult leader. Currently, I'm dead because I smoked a joint full of tree bark next to an open natural gas hole. Um, so, Dad Tech USA, if you have other questions, I'm sure uh, our friends here will fill you in. That's what's going on. Um, so the game I'd like to play is let's skip to near the end of the video and try to guess what happened in between the beginning and the end. Okay, so let's go back. So let's pick something sort of near the end here. In Somewhere. In oh, I don't know. Say I'm here. In oh, also we're in India. In India. India, California. So, okay, we saw the beginning with the butt touch. Now here's this. Use as the fuel for change. And you can feel some emotional something happening here. I'm gonna get in here now, and I'm gonna take the energy that's disconnected and direct it into that spinal gateway, which is what's happening right there. Oh. Oh. Can you hear the moaning? Oh. And I have one oscillator, the vertebra just rocking on that side. And where am I gonna go? Right here? Oh, no, it's lower. Here we go. Lewis, there we go, right here. <laughs> And it's a different type of response. It's localized to stretch. That's activating the emotional energetic intelligence, which is associated with the long muscle of the spine, the postural muscles, the immune system. Of course, always the immune the system. system. And it's coming online. We want to make sure that's happening after. I think there's even more moaning here. Nuts. Thank you. Daddy, you are home. See more of a stretch response. Rhythmic mizod. And I'm taking the energy of this chord, each phase like a chord, a musical note, that vibration of this phase is here, it's here, it skips here, and it goes in here. So as I'm doing this, you're going to start seeing the spine starting to stretch those areas, take energy that's been disconnected and say, it's time to come home, it's time to come home, I'll give you my gifts. So it's happening here, it's bound up, and information, it's used as the fuel for change. And you can feel some emotional something happening here. I'm going to get in here now. And of course it goes to the prostate. Where else would it go? The prostate. Now, I'm going to see if it's possible by the connection. So we're, we're like at the middle now. So yeah, this guy's thing, he kind of does, I mean, it's called epi -energ energetics is what he calls it. Uh, my mom told me about seeing a sex show in Amsterdam that was, that was like this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> is the audience loving it? Uh, I think they might be, but. Up and bottom of the spot, if I can make contact here and affect the pelvis there. <laughs> What's happening? This, this is actually, I'm finding the exact spot in the way. He's just He's touching this man and making him moan. There's nothing special about that. And you're seeing this between the skull and the upper neck is starting to move here. That's happening first. Then this is, I mean... See how this is happening? You see how he's changing the... What's softer than soft core? You know, is it... Does it just go... Is, do we just have soft and hard? Do we have, like, squ squish? I think squish core is definitely raunchier than soft core. Uh, <laughs> there's something very special about that. <laughs> <laughs> gelatinous it's not softcore porn but it is a gelatinous video certainly <laughs> there's some great shots of the audience here and there uh like of their reactions let me try and find you one it's it's a very it's a good time uh oh okay i got gotcha. you i got one this is kind of early on you know but they still and it produces safety in the body because the bioenergetic intelligence wants enough energy and it wants safe home porn. I have to first feel it though and there see what's go. going on. Even if the assessment says do this, if the body says it's not the time, we go to the next thing. 
It's why I know what I see has to happen, but what's the timing this body wants? That's another level here. Wow. You can just make money doing anything if you're enough of an asshole. Uh, where do I shove my energy crystal? I mean, I don't know if you have a prostate, but as close to your prostate as you can, if you do have one, um, you know, the sacral chakra, always good. I will pay you $5 to kick me in the sacral after the show. I pay you. You have to pay to spank me, but I will. I will pay you to kick me in the sacral after the show. Do you think his ring is Orgon? Yeah. Why wouldn't it be? Let's check in with St. Germain. Okay, yeah. Whip me. Good day, dear one. Uh, so here's, here's something I like. Uh, uh... You. I lost my rectum due to a dog bite. Been boofing piss for three years in my hole, and today I have wrinkles in the opening again. Stay educated, sheep. There we go. Uh, <laughs> I have two prostates, just like my dad's. Would it be good to have two prostates? I don't know. Those things get bigger as you get older. And you got a couple of grapefruits down there. I mean, well, I guess you just take one out. I don't know. Anyway, so we're, uh, this is a St. Germain channeling, uh, subtitled The Second Coming of Christ. Uh, you can make money doing anything if you're enough of an asshole. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, so I like this, the, just the beginning of this channeling, and we'll go deeper, but just know I do like the beginning. Good day, dear ones. I am St. Germain. I come with you. I come to you. Come on, okay. All right. Is it a Freudian slip by by an ascended master? If you jack off enough, you can keep your prostate small. Well, I'll do my best. Uh, that's what I've been telling my doctor. He says, now, are you masturbating enough? I say, I'm doing my very best, doc. Um, quote number four, clown meat. Uh, so, St. Germain, I'm coming with you. <laughs> Fuck. I like, I'm coming to you. You know, that's how I imagine an ascended master navigating, uh, misspeaking, but is it a Freudian slip? Is it, is it just, I like the idea of one who has transcended the physical form, uh, saying the wrong thing, you know, when speaking through a person, uh, <laughs> you need to jack off more, a lot more. Uh, any, anyway, let's go on with good tidings for things are changing in your world yeah. it may seem on the surface that there is much violence much destruction much chaos much loss and much suffering however you are in the final stages of a transformation how You're long are we going to be in these fucking final stages these channelers keep telling us we're like we're right there we're all about to ascend and what would you like me to say as I spank myself? Uh, these cummies were medically prescribed. That, you know, that that's just a disgusting sentence. And I'm happy that you typed it. And I, I appreciate you. But, oof, just, just a disgusting thing to say. And, of course, we like that around here. Of course, I want you to gross me out. Okay. Uh, what, oh, yeah. What should I say as I spank myself? You let me know. You just let me know. Oh. <laughs> um, commonly understood in many of your Christian teachings, misinterpreted. Perhaps misinterpreted Honestly. even those... Victor, <laughs> even those... Here we go now. Here we go now. Anyway, I just liked that someone made a mild mistake while channeling, I guess. Let's go to the end Set here. Channeling, a little different from the norm. Inspired by my, my sweatshirt. <laughs> Some synchronicity going on here, I think. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in another now. Oh, no. Have a wonderful day. I'm getting a call. Oh, and check out my website. Uh, hello. Oh, my God, it's you. It's finally you. It's finally me. It's finally me. Hey, it's finally you. Is this... Oh, no. Listen, Chopo, Chopo, I'm in a big shit here. I've been in jail for four weeks. No. To reach you, Hambo Corp is, is being sued for securities fraud. We mm. messed it up in this in this you know LTB character you set me up with, talking about some sort of coins. I'm in jail, dude. I'm. It's not fun in here. I need some help. Are you Are you around? Are you guys available? I am dead. 
Uh, so oh. that's that's uh, you know that's our first obstacle. But you know we can get around that. I do have powers. Uh, but... um, you, oh, you do have. Okay, can you get me out of jail? Mm, no, I don't think so. Do you have any? Do you have any tips for for getting out of jail? I know you were in jail once, right? Oh uh, yeah, I, yeah. I I did some time at the Mount Shasta City Hall holding cell. Um, you know, I would just say the number one tip about surviving in prison is to say excuse me. Um, oh, you bump into yeah. somebody, make sure you say excuse me. Yeah, uh, you know, I did that thing. You know what they say in jail? You know, you find the biggest person there and you try to, you know, fuck them up. Yeah. Um, I did that. It did not. It did not work out. Oh, what? Um, I mean, I'm, did it? I'm severely injured. I'm severely hurt. Mm. The healthcare here is not great. Um, right. So things aren't things aren't going great here, Chopo. Um, you know, I tried to hitch a ride on your on your rising star, and uh, I've crashed. Wow, this is my fault, isn't it? Like a hundred percent. Please don't leave me. I got uh, the yeah, I, and that's why I thought maybe mouth. you could help me out, but it sounds like you said you're dead. So. Well, um, as someone in the chat has. Uh, you know, has, has, has reminded me how I got out of prison last time, uh, was I cut my dick off, right? You remember that? Uh, wait, oh, uh, what? Do you remember when I cut my dick off and all the blood went like, like this all over the place from my dick? I cut my dick off, but the thing was that then my son showed up with the bail money. Uh, right. so uh, you got any kids? No, I mean... You guys were basically my my kids. The closest thing I had to kids. I mean, I was the closest thing you had to a kid. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I dumped all my hopes and dreams in you. I thought you were going to be a rising star. I thought you were going to absolve me of all my sins. You know, I really thought you know we're going to get the telos. We're going to do this, man. We were going to do this. We were going to do this, but then I, but then it wasn't going so well. We had we had the U.S. military surrounding us. Yeah, I saw that on the news. Jesus. Uh, yeah, I just didn't really know how else to get out of that. I mean, I've done this several times. I have, you know, blown myself up or mutilated myself to escape to the astral realm. Um, I don't know, but I don't. The thing is that I don't know if that's an option for everybody. Uh, I mean, I took the fall for you guys. I'm in jail. I'm, it's it's not fun in here. I said this. It's, 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 I'm freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. Hmm. Well, the other thing you could do, uh, you could get you could get into, uh, you know, blood the the dark arts. You could get into oh. black magic. Uh, yeah. I mean, there was a division of Hambo Corp that was, you know, we didn't. I mean, it was hush hush. But I mean, we, you know, you gotta you gotta you gotta pl play the the game at both ends. You know. You do, and I do like to be played at both ends from time to time. But what I will tell you is that now you have a lot of time on your hands. And yeah. uh, I, I think that, you know, if there's ever anything that you wanted to invest a lot of time into that primarily involves reading books, you know, I'd, I'd say just make the best of this. Yeah, maybe, you know, do you have Spectre Ball's number? Maybe I'll hit him up. I know he, he kind of dabbles in that stuff, right? He does. I have his email. Um, yeah, he hasn't responded I mean, for one, you know, one hour a week here, but I think, um, I can spend a little bit of that time, you know, emailing him. That, I'm sure he would like that. He's a really nice guy. Um, yeah, he seemed like it. Yeah. Well, the other thing we could maybe do is uh, we could try to have Dick Spargel dig you out, but I do believe he oh. is also deceased, but I haven't confirmed oh. that. Uh huh. Uh huh. But he was down there in the pit. Uh, I think he's suffocated, but I can't, but I, but I don't know. Well, okay. You know, I'm going to pursue this dark arts angle. It seems like probably my best bet. I mean, I don't know what else to do here. I'm losing my mind, man. It's been, it's been four weeks. It's, it's not great. Yeah, no, it's, it's bad, but I think you're overreacting and I actually think it's fine. I don't have any tolerance oh, um, for I'm lying, you, I'm glad you think piss, it's fine. You're, you're drinking dead, you're dead. Satanist. Yeah, I am dead. I am dead, you know, but I've done time. Uh, and it actually, it actually, uh, they call them correctional facilities. And I was corrected by it. I was corrected. Oh, geez, Chopo. I don't, I don't know, man. I'm, oh, God, it's hard. I mean, what, do you think you're a good person? Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, you think I, mean, that... I I don't know. I mean, you know what happened in Hambo Corp. I mean, th there's a reason partly why I'm here, I guess, you know, but I didn't think I was this bad. 
No, you're not that bad. You're not that bad, and you don't deserve to be in jail, and we will get you out. I just don't know how yet. I wonder, uh, well, when I get reincarnated, I'll see, Uh I'll see if I can find the drill mobile and, and bust you out. Yeah. Well, you know, the drill has semi-sapient, so hopefully, you know, maybe if you, if you talk to the drill, get the drill going, maybe you and the drill can come break me out at some point. I think we probably could. Also, uh, yeah, I've been, I've been in brief contact with an angel up here. People are mentioning that. That's helpful. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so you don't have any family or friends, huh? No, I've sadly sold them uh, or or sacrificed them um, for, for for riches. Um, yeah, that didn't really lead me anywhere. Been there. I mean, hey, who hasn't done that? Um, well, okay. Well, give me. A, I don't. I don't know how time passes here. Really, I don't know if it's slower or faster or what. But uh, yeah, give me give me some time. I'll try to work something out. We'll try to we'll try to get you out of there. All right, you know what? That's you know, I'm I'm really glad I called you Chopo. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I'm starting to calm down. Um, your perspective has been helpful. You know, I guess I'll just keep watching the stream. I have one phone. Um, I only can watch it for about an hour every couple weeks, but so I'll, I'll tune in when I can. You know. Yeah, great. And hey, you know, uh, give me a call whenever. I think maybe what we should try to do. Well, what's your bail set at? Uh, fifty million dollars. Okay, so we won't do that. I think we will just have to uh, bust you out and then get you into uh, international waters, maybe. Seems like the best move. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think I got a yacht somewhere. One of those yachts dashed away, you know. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll get you, um, yeah, we'll get you uh, into, you know, pirate territory and stuff, and we'll get you some guns, and we'll just, we'll just see how it goes, all right? Listen, I got a yacht for you and for me if you bust me out, buddy. You can Sounds be good. You can be a pirate. You can be on a ship. We'll get the coconut drink. We'll be good to go. You can be your own pirate. Uh, yeah, R. I love it. I love it, Hambono. Well, thank you for calling in. Um, yeah. And I'll, hey, I'll play some Specter Ball for you right now just to get you on the right would, track, okay? That would really be helpful. I love that, man. I love it. I love it. Okay, well, we'll talk to you soon, all right? Okay, thank you, Chopo. All right, have fun in there. Uh, Ham Bono, everybody. Give it up for Ham Bono. Of Hambo Corp, who helped us uh, dig so far down and get all of our guys. Um, yeah, what else do I have to say about that? I don't know. Jail's not so bad. You read some books, you, you know, mutilate yourself, you... You, whatever. I threw my nipples at a lady, so. Um, what? Oh, wow. We got gifted, gifted subs. Come on now. That's so nice. Brizzle. Let's see. Steve, Steve gifted the gifted subs. subs. That's a big boy. And we got. <laughs> I must stay my ass in prison. And we got I'll take the case with this subscription. I mean, it's just a it's just a big bless around here every single time I show my my smiling face. Um let's watch some Spectre Ball. The first thing I would like to show you about Spectre Ball is how he uh sort of I don't know, he did some Photoshop on himself here in this thumbnail and 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 more power to him for doing so um but you know it's just it is the first thing i uh, I, I i noticed so let's get into some ball let's suck ball huh i'll be my own pirate hey i'm specter ball i'm a gothic musician also an occultist and welcome to my channel play it at both ends we're going to be talking hey. about which Thank you for subscribing, but sex eleven to deal with, to contact, or any spirit for that matter. Before we do that, consider subscribing. Click on. Also, did he get a tan, or is he wearing makeup? He, but the point I'm trying to make is that he looks good. Which spirit to contact? Here we go. I've I train messages. Holy shit! I've seen subscribers ask. <laughs> <laughs> I snorted instant coffee and did PCP I thought was coke fresh from a marshaled <laughs> Oh, take a day to you this day of your time. How are you? What is it? Marshaled inmates prison wallet. Woof. Hey, 
Thanks for subscribing. Holy shit, we got a fucking hype train, baby. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I appreciate you saying you'd sub me. I mean, it's all, it's all, it's all, what the fuck was that? It's all, it's all appreciated. And, and but I just appreciate you being here. It is really what I appreciate. So thank you very much to everyone. Um, uh, and, and, uh, and big bless. Let's keep, let's keep watching Spec. And I also seen it on magical forums. Mm. Some say, well, contact this spirit. They're easier to work with. They like the magician better. Yeah. Or this spirit. Well, I'm going to tell you, contact the spirit that you want to contact. There we go. Hey! So listen. Getting cheered by Puddin' Tame? And what is hard. Oh! oh what's, what's going on here? Going on here? What's experience. going on here? What is easy for one magician is... What would y'all really like me to... What another. would y'all like me to do? Do you want me to call the astrologer again? Because I... Cause I wanted to do that for you last week and now you know, I feel like everybody's having such a good time. Um, this is like Stavi solves your problems. I don't know what that is, but oh, um, yeah, let me try to call uh, the astrologer. Uh, if I can find, if I can find, find the, that astrologer's number. Lucky Lynx, he has a puppet. He has a puppet named Clyde. Uh, and and I tried to call him. I call him a lot. Not a lot. I've called him twice. Not a big deal. Uh, he puts Are his you? phone number in the in the YouTubes. Uh, the Gatorade around my place is doinked. Um, savvy from Oh, come town. I've heard of that. Never listen. What the fuck is going on with the thousand bits and all this shit? I'll do whatever you want. You can kick me in the sacral all you want. Uh, holy shit. What's up, Pop-Tart? Fuck. Fuck. We're doing... We're, man, a lot's going on. Level two complete. What the... Boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> bits and shits. Um... Uh, ba, 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 ba. Okay, I'm gonna call this astrologer. Uh, uh, okay, I got an angle. I got an angle in my head. Here we go. Here we go. Probably just doesn't like me anymore. This is Lynx. Please leave a detailed message and a phone number where you can be reached, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Hey, Lynx, man. I uh, saw you made another video for me. That was awesome. I really liked it. Uh, I really <laughs> Clyde's so funny, man. Hey, well, you should call me back at 530-918-8292. Um, I mean, things have been going really great for me since I talked to you, and, and I just have more questions. So, uh, yeah, get back to me. Thank. All right. Well, it doesn't always work, but time to get a <laughs> time to find a different astrologer i don't have any tolerance to call. <laughs> for lying piss drinking satanists yeah oh well that's fine hey let's hear a ufo story huh hey there so i just wanted to tell a cool little story real quick that i haven't shared with anybody so my grandfather love that way of starting a video hey i just wanted to tell you a quick little story real quick I like it. Just a quick little story room. My dad's dad was a World War II veteran. He was a fighting Navy CB. He went in under fighting fire Navy CB. airports. Yeah, man. My grandpa was an Eby Doby Deby. My grandpa was a teeny weeny deeny. 
uh, uh, my grandpa was a teeny weeny teeny. Oh, my grandpa was an eeny miny meeny. Oh, my grandpa was a zooty daddy teeny. Oh, my grandpa was a dee daddy daddy. Oh, my grandpa saw a UFO in World War II. He was like me, but not like you. My grandpa was a zeeny niny meeny. Oh, my grandpa saw a zeeny skinny skinny. Grandpa saw a skinny skinny skinny. My grandpa saw a skinny skinny skinny. My grandpa was looking kind of skinny. Oh, 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 e, oh. On different islands in Japan. During Thank you. After the war in the early. I can't read. I can't read. It. Someone just subscribed and then Margot's gift him. I feel like that guy's touching my back and telling me how to respond in front of a crowd of people in a white room. That's how I feel. I feel like I'm going. Fifties. Oh. He was stationed in okinawa and oh. other uh japanese territories on military bases on airports to be specific and uh -huh. he told me a story i didn't know this why my grandfather every single fucking night would sit out in a lawn chair at night and just stare up at the stars and he would count satellites and just watch the stars every single night my grandpa would sit in a lawn chair and he would count satellites and he would don't say to me, me, I got the alien shit in my fucking mouth. <laughs> he would say, please don't leave me. I've got the alien shit in my fucking mouth. <laughs> and this was one of our bonding moments that we would do together when I was a boy. But he told me one day when I was like 12, 13 years old <laughs> about a story. And my grandfather was no bullshitter. He was, you know, a man's man, old school. And... He's so intelligent and skilled. He built a three-story house for his wife, like all kinds of <laughs> shit. But anyway, so he told me- Rosie always elevating the chat here. <laughs> it ain't natural for man to fly. Look at the, we got emotes and all this shit. Things are happening for us today. Things are happening for us today. And just think, I almost said, nah. I'll just eat hummus tonight. I won't do the show. My grandpa's name was Night God. He used to spend every night counting pyramids under the Pacific Ocean on Google Maps. Hey, by the way, am I some kind of asshole for using Apple Maps? Don't answer that. A story of how he was sitting on the deck. And what do you want me to say when you spank, when I spank me? On one of these bases one time. Fuck and NASA! He <laughs> Fuck you, bitches! Margo, let me know. I'll say it. Smoking a cigar. This is the weird synchronicity. And he looked up. Hype train? Siren. Sure, sure thing. Couldn't be easier. Oh, oh baby, you want to spank me? Spank because, me because we got a hype train. Uh. And started going off on the base. And not even that far above his head. Oh, Mary, what do you want me to say? For, for your spanking. I'll do this spank up close, too. Uh, oh, 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 that's a teaser. That's a teaser. You don't get it yet. Hold on. Uh, Mary, let me know what you want me to say. Uh, you want me to say all the men loved Grampy? I'll say, because I'll say it. What'd you do to Chippy Whippy? What'd you do to Chippy Whippy? That's, you ever look at Peter Kane's cameos? There's one where he says, what'd you do to Chippy Whippy? All right. Oh my God. I'm going to send. All right, cool. I'll make it, I'll make it as lewd as possible. Oh, oh my god, I'm gonna ascend! Thank you very much, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, also for the people who are new here, there's a couple of you. Uh, on Thursday, uh, Little Thursday Boy does a show on this channel, and Little Thursday Boy is a lot of fun. I've heard he's not doing so good lately, but that the show is still really fun. Um, so definitely do tune in. A stationary, floating, anti-gravitic vehicle in the shape of... Anti-gravitic. Anti-gravitic, huh? Okay. A silver cigar. So it was like one of those long, skinny ones. And it just stayed there silent and hovered. And it was right... And how about this guy's shirt that says Gore Shrek? Shrek Gore, huh? above his fucking head and it was seamless and just silver and just like glistening and the the air raid sirens went off at the base and they scrambled fighter planes and then it just fucking 
took off. It just fucking. Yep. It just fucking. It just fucking. Yep. It just fucking. Scrambled fighter planes. And then it just fucking. Yep. Took off. And. And then. It just fucking. Yep. <laughs> it. Yep. 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 Love his fucking head, and it was seamless <laughs> and just silver, and just like glistening. And the the air raid <laughs> sirens went off at the base. Uh huh. And they scrambled fighter planes. Oh really? And then it just fucking yep, took <laughs> off. And he said that's why he goes out every single night and counts satellites. It just changed him forever. Listen, it's not because I hate your grandmother and I hate your father and I can't stand being in this family and the food sucks and the furniture stinks and the and because the walls the wallpaper taunts me and because I feel like every fork in the road I came to in my life I chose the wrong one. It's not because of that, okay? Okay, grandson, that's not why I come out here every night. Okay, it's because one night I saw a cigar in the sky and then it went... Fucking... Yep. Okay, that's why I'm out here every night, okay? It's not because I'm running out the clock on my, <laughs> on my final days. Whoa, we got more gifts going on. This place. This place. These people. It does look like a weed farm, huh? Took off. And he said that's so. why. You know what kind of uh, ETs or craft do you think that is? I know I've heard before the reptilians use silver cigar shaped ones, but let me know in the comments. I love y'all. Have a beautiful fucking day. Stay up. I love y'all. Have a beautiful fucking day. Stop. Hey, man. Hey, man. Stop. Stop. Uh, what else are we doing? What about Don't You by the Pussycat Dolls? Oh, That's a great oh, my choice. Tribe, indeed. That's just a great choice for a slow karaoke. Um, yeah, Don't You Wish Your Girlfriend Was Hot Like Me? That's good. That's really good. Uh, here we go. Great. Thanks, Rosie. Um, The Silver Cigar. Uh, okay. Great. Okay, well, we're gonna do a slow karaoke. I don't know how slow do we usually do them, like half speed or something. I might do it a little different. I might do it a little faster. I don't know. Um, well, let's let's find out. Do I have to do the Busta Rhymes part? Probably, huh? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Should I do the should I do the the one with the rap or the one without the rap? They have both versions. Um, oh, we got another karaoke. I do half. Okay, find my speed. All right. Well, but do I rap? Is the thing. I wonder if Troy Casey is slapping his balls right now. The answer is always yes. Sorry, I'm just wetting my whistle. Just drinking some piss. Uh, okay, great. Well. Let's do it with the rap, huh? Nice. All right, well, that's nice. not it. That's an ad. That is an ad, my friends. Um, oh, fuck yeah! All right, here we go. Uh, let's try it. Let's try it at half speed. Uh, I'll let it start. Uh, and thank you. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Um, not, oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, we about to get it just a little hot and sweaty, hot and sweaty, sweaty here. here. Oh, oh baby. Oh, baby. Ladies, Ladies, let's go. Let's go. 
soldiers, let's go! Let me talk to y'all and just, you know, give you a little situation. Listen, fellas, you see they got hot every time I come through when I step up in the spot. Make the place sizzle like a summertime cookout. Proud for the girls and chicks. Yes, I'm all summer. Slow banging shorty. Like a belly dancer with it. Smell good. Pretty skin. So gangster with it. No tricks, only diamonds under my sleeve. Give me that number, but make sure you call. I know you like me. I know you like me. I know you like me. I know you do. I know you do. That's why I went out. This is sad. Oh. Let's keep it friendly. You have to play fair. See, I don't care, but I, I know she ain't gonna wanna share. Here we go, everybody. Everybody, please join in, wherever you are. Don't you Don't wish you your girlfriend was, was high? high. Don't, you Don't you wish, wish your girlfriend was a freak like, like me? me? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Here we go, the one about being raw. Don't you miss your girlfriend was raw like me. Don't you miss your girlfriend was raw like me. Okay, I, I see how it's going down. Seems like Shorty want a little menage pop-off or 
something. Let's go. Well, let me get straight to it. Every broad won't watch me when I come through it. It's the God Almighty looking all brand new. If Shorty want to jump in my past, then Van Jewett, excuse me? Looking at me all like she really won't do it. Trying to put it on me till I'm black and bluish. You want to play with a play a girl, then play on strip out the channel and leave the lingerie on. Watch me and I'ma watch you at the same time looking at you won't break my back. You the very reason why I keep a pack of the Magnum and with the wagon hit you in the back of the Magnum. For the record, don't think it was something you did shorty all on me cause it's hard to resist the kid. I got an idea that's dope for y'all is cause y'all could get so I could hit to both of y'all. Don't you wish your girlfriend was um, hot like me, though? Don't you wish your girlfriend was a free freak like me? Don't you? Let's get soft. Don't, uh, don't you, baby? Don't you? Hey, I love you too. That's it. Well, that was great. I think we had another karaoke uh, redeemed just mere minutes ago. Uh... So I'll, and I wasn't looking at the chat really at all during that. I was just trying to do it justice. Um, oh, Ethel, you paid for a Gina dance. I don't have that one. Jimmy nutted up his spine. Very good, very good. Um, oh, somebody's calling me though. Hello, hello. hello. Hey, is is this the tribe vibe guy? Yeah, that's it's does, the it's the one and only. How does this work? Is this like a voicemail? Like you're live right now. You're on the show. Oh, dude, I I don't want that. I I don't have anything like funny off the right off the cuff to interject. Most of these people in chat are like trained veteran comedians, man. They. They have funny one-liners and shit. I thought this would be like a voicemail where I could make up some problem about my erectile dysfunction or something. I mean, you're welcome to do that too. But yeah, no, I understand. Uh, I understand the pressure you feel. Everyone, everyone that watches this show is very, very, very funny, uh, and I think that's part of the reason why it works. I certainly couldn't carry the whole thing myself. It's very watching the comments is much funnier than just listening to me for sure. Um, but no, but also no pressure. We're just here to have fun and to hang out and the show's almost over. You actually like, you actually read all the comments though. Like some, some of the streamers, like the really popular e-girls and stuff, they don't read any of them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I wonder if they're like, you know, are they getting funny comments or are they getting like, like requests? They're with insults and stuff all day. Oh, what a bummer. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want that gig. I wouldn't want the e girl gig either. I don't. I don't think. But but what if? Do you think there's an e girl that we could get as a guest on the show, and then maybe, I don't know, just to like give them a, a break, you know? Uh, like a funny one. I mean, I guess it wouldn't matter. But just the chat here is so much fun, and I'm sure they would be very supportive of an e girl. And I feel like maybe that could be just a nice thing for them. Yeah, it's it's cool when uh, when streamers do like crossover episodes and stuff. I like that. I'm a big fan. Yeah. I think I found out about this through DTFH channels. So. Oh yeah. Certified. Good vibes. I yeah. yeah. Through Aaron Goldberg or somebody. Oh yeah, we like Aaron Goldberg. Yeah, I like uh, I like Duncan Trussell a lot. I mean, I don't. I mean, it's been a while since I've listened actually, but yeah, I am I am a fan. 
Um, do you know? I mean, do you watch E Girls? Is that something you like or? Like, I'm the worst type of person because I make fun of people that watch that shit. And then one day I subscribe to Amaranth, and I don't even like her like her feed. I would rather be doing like a thousand other things with my time than watching it. I don't even watch it, so I just wasted like like why did I I do that? I uh, I fell into the trap, man. Yeah, well, oh, but that's just you know that's just um. I've used the phrase tit magic before. That's all that is, and it's fine. Just embrace it. Just let yourself be influenced by, you know, by boobs or whatever, and it's fine. It's good. You can have fun with it. My real question is, because what happens is when you sign up for, like, these OnlyFans things, like yeah. you pay a subscription fee, and then they have, like, a little censored thing, and then you pay, like, $100 for something that's 10 minutes long. Uh -huh. I want to know what kind of trust, trust fund kids have that kind of money. Who's got that kind of money, man? A hundred dollars? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, inflation. They're not even going to send you a message or something. They're like, they're not going to validate you or like give you a wink or anything or say hello. It's, I mean, they might, I mean, are, a good friend of ours had an OnlyFans, and I'm sure that if, you know, if anybody would have given him any money or subscribed to it ever, he probably would have been very accommodating. But, um, you know, I think the kind of people who get into that are probably single, um, you know, and yeah, maybe they have good jobs, uh, but not, um, not a lot of uh, responsibility, probably, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, I wish him the best. I, you know, I get it. I understand that it seems like a waste of money, but I also just think There's whatever makes you happy. Paid. What's yeah, that? I mean, no, no judgment, man. It's 2022 here. Yeah, it seems like things are winding down, you know. So if you want to give a hundred dollars to watch to watch a video that you know, if you're saying, hey, forget about the inflation of currency, I'm focused on on inflating myself or parts of myself, I think that that's good. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, like part of me is like ready for the, you know, the Blade Runner 2049 hologram uh, companion type uh -huh. situation. And part, part of me is like horrified at, you know, I don't know, everything getting virtual and stuff. So I don't know. We'll see if the future is cool or not. We will see if the future is cool or not. Yeah, I'm definitely, my inclination is that uh, I think the virtual, you're, are you talking about like sex stuff mostly? God entered my body. Like yeah, a body I know, man. There's side. like, you know, Lil Dicky? Oh, I'm, Dave. I'm a little bit familiar, but I can't say that I'm a, you know, that I'm really super uh, acquainted with, with Lil Dicky's output. Uh, he, he has like a little sitcom show that's like loosely based on his life. And he's always using like shit like that, like VR goggles and like, you know, Bluetooth synchronized devices and like shit like that. Uh-huh. I think he likes to poke fun at himself like that or something. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, like, you know, there's going to be sex robots, and I guess there already are. Uh, I don't know. I think that's great. I think, why not? I think, uh, I mean, what is the fear that you think people maybe then won't be pursuing relationships with humans? I don't know. Things just might get like bizarre i don't know i live in oklahoma right now and we're like it's like up for debate right now uh if we're about to go into the dark ages and like ban uh pro-choice stuff here it's crazy it's yeah crazy shit right now we're just living in in some wild times and i'm i'm very curious if uh you know there's still gonna be like just authentic uh human relations in the future huh yeah or if we're gonna be ryan gosling who he he doesn't like real girls in the, in the movie he only likes uh 
this hologram thing. You know, I mean, but I think that there's people out there. Uh, I just realized I'm probably really loud. I think there's people out there that too much of your time. I'm I'm really boring, dude. No, you're not. This is fantastic. This is great. Um, I think that there's there's people out there who probably would be happier with a virtual partner, and and in an authentic way, uh, and it, and perhaps it would even be healthy for them. I bet there's people like that out there. I I do agree that maybe the risk there is that. Uh, you know, it becomes a thing of convenience where there's people out there who that's not healthy for, but they're doing it because it's because it's easier, right? Uh, I think I think that is maybe something that we'll have to deal with, but I think we're already kind of we're kind of getting there. We're already sort of dealing with that, um, but I don't know. I mean, I think there's probably a lot of people out there who would benefit from uh yeah it's a sex robot or something i think it's cool um but yeah, the other I, stuff I think you I've know seen documentaries where like grown grown ass men are just like they, they're just down with that they're just down with I it mean, that that's fine if that's like that's like having a cat or something i guess it's kind of like want to like clean it you mean like a real doll or something yeah like uh I, I don't know. You're uh, you're programming it. Yeah. Like certain personality traits and all of that. So it's kind of like I don't know. You're it's it's the ultimate like lonely ass soul person's thing. Like mm. if you're hung up on like some high school love that got away that you just like can't get over. And you need like a figment <laughs> of your imagination to. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think uh, <clears throat> I'm in two minds about it a little bit because I think like it, it, maybe it would maybe it would happen that uh, a person who is not mentally well um, is the kind of person who would be of course attracted to uh an art let's call it an artificial relationship or a non-human relationship um but uh i say whatever gets you through the night you know i think life is hard and uh i don't i don't necessarily think that the non-human relationship would cause the social or mental anguish i think maybe it would be kind of a band-aid on it uh so I don't know. And someone in the chat has said this concern about people preferring artificial relationships to real human interaction goes back to antiquity. Look at the story of Pygmalion and uh, Gal Galatea. I don't know how to say it. I will look at that story. Um, and then someone else is asking, does riding a Sibian count as fucking a robot asking for a friend? Listen, you know, I would, uh, I, I don't. Asking for a friend, I love that. Yeah, <laughs> it's always, it's always good. I, yeah, I, I'm. I'm in the camp where I think that I think that fucking a robot is good and cool and fine if if you want to do it. I'm abs I am 100% pro sex robot. I will say that. Yeah. That comedian Whitney Cummings, she made one of herself just like for her special and she brought it on Rogan and all that. Uh -huh. I mean, that's a that's an investment, you know. I I mean, I feel a certain amount of shame after like the anticipation and build up of, you know, whatever release I, I view like, you know, jacking it as just like a, a hormonal release. You're just expelling a demon. And I feel like the more money I'm in, investing in that and the deeper I'm getting into like gadgets and like weird subliminal, like porn with like eyes staring at you and shit. Like I, I, I feel like it's, <laughs> I got to take a break from it for a while. It's hurting somebody somewhere, man. Huh, hurting somebody some Okay, so in talking about masturbation, you have said um the word shame I'm happy to be the gen uh, the I'm word demon the Asian army and the and the phrase hurting someone. Uh so it kind of just sounds like you yeah, you have yeah, you have uh 
maybe some negative feelings about it. I mean, I think that definitely I agree with the hormonal release thing and like, you know, for uh, I'm blessed enough to not really need to do that that many times you know in a, in a whatever period of time because i but yeah because those hormones go away and then i want to do something else um and i think you know for it's, it's your energy dude once you once you ski like that's that was like your charisma for the entire day oh i don't gone, think so right? i don't think so well sometimes you have to just rub one out so you don't say some thirsty shit and come off like creepy but i mean i've done both sides of the spectrum i've gone a year without doing it in jail just because i was like just like shut down and then you know i've had days where i've went like 15 times so there's just got to be some balance to be found i think the, yeah i think it's just all about balance but i definitely think that uh you know if after you after you skeet uh to to borrow a word from from your lexicon um you know, if you feel weird or bad or, or, or shameful, um, you know, I think maybe that's, maybe you should start there and can kind of, uh, yeah, do, do a little, do a little digging and how you, how you view your sexuality and then, you know, how you feel because that, that like initial feeling of like, whoa, what the heck am I doing? I feel like a dog humping a stuffed animal. Um, you know that goes away after a couple minutes and um but you know most of the time like like i don't get that uh you know so i think um yeah i think it's maybe explore that in your free time uh i would i would yeah, recommend I, I i definitely have some uh some stuff there but i'm i'm pretty i'm pretty healthy in the in the general sense i'm pretty like comfortable Great. about about like not being comfortable you know yeah well and then maybe maybe uh yeah maybe you don't have a problem at all i just you know i i just think the, that uh jedi masters you know they have control over their desires and shit uh-huh i mean i just don't like feeling like an animal or like so reactive to like Oh my god i'm, I'm looking at amaranth's channel and here's this blonde chick the swedish chick and it's just like I just immediately am just a creature at that point. I don't. I want to feel like a Jedi Master and be like, "All right, I'm, it's nothing I haven't seen before." Huh? Yeah. I mean, I think that I think that uh, tapping into the animalistic part of of being a person can can just be really fun if you let it, though. And it, you know, don't put don't put pressure on yourself to be a Jedi Master who's free from desire. I think that, uh, you know, it, evolutionarily speaking, we have desire for for good reason. It's it's what keeps us eating and reproducing, and it goes away after we fulfill those needs, um, because because otherwise we'd be eating and fucking all day. And there are other things that we have to do, um, but I think you can. Um, I think desire can just be really fun. I don't think it ha you have to take it too seriously in terms of like, oh yeah, you know, I mean, like at heart, at heart. Okay, like I, I'm very reserved and shit. But then like, you know, you take me to a fucking burn or something. Yeah, and like I'm, I'm a different animal. Like I'm just like a crazy wild human being. Sure coming out for a little bit we're talking about the time and place for it. we're talking about gilgamesh and enkidu and they all and they both live inside of you and whatever gilgamesh won't do enkidu you know what i'm saying yeah man i i like you're a you're a funny cat man the, this conversation could have gone any number of ways but you're actually like one-on-one -on -one actually trying to like Give me a little guidance, which in this day and age is so rare, man. We don't even have phone calls anymore. I'm like sorry you feel that way. Night. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, call in any time. Pay for somebody to like give a shit, you know? Oh, that's too bad. No, I'm I'm really uh, you know, I have long conversations. Oh, um, for my tribe, I have, indeed. I have long conversations with Uber drivers and anyone who happens to sit next to me at a, a social event and 
I, I really enjoy conversation a lot. Um, so you can call in anytime you want. Um, you know, I might not. I won't abuse that. I won't abuse that, man, because I'm just like. Well, I trust you. I'm just like this isolated, uh, small town uh, dude that doesn't have a tribe. So this channel is appealing because it has the word tribe in it. And I see <laughs> yeah. That I see on the Discord in in the chat, so I know it's like the same fam and shit. Everybody's being goofy. We have a really, really great community here, I'm, and I'm very, very thankful for it. They're really, really fun, uh, thoughtful people. And, yeah, it's great to talk to you. And, um, I don't know, yeah, c call in some other time. Um, I do this every Monday uh, or Tuesday. Like a, I thought this was going to be like a voicemail type thing. Right. how Stavi does it, and it's like, it's like really – absurdist shit like my girlfriend is trying to peg me what kind of uh dildo should i get for my first time i'm trying to, or like just whack you don't know where they're gonna go with it because they're kind of like they're just like wild millennial satirists yeah it pretty, uh, gets pretty lewd over there yeah they'll have uh they'll have people like tim Dillon on or mark norman stop by you know comedians yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I haven't watched that, but if you, but I think if you call this number when I'm not streaming, uh, you can leave a voicemail, or I'll just pick up because it does go, it does go to my phone. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll either answer it or or not. But you're you're welcome to call. Yeah, man, dude, I appreciate this twenty minutes. Like people's time is pretty much the most valuable thing that you can uh give somebody so i'll 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 exit here so that we uh we keep it fresh and all goof off in the chat hey i'll hey. explore some of that, some of those sexual things uh, the last funny thing i can say is that i was kind of like fucked up and like you know how people say jerk off to go to sleep or whatever yeah one of the one of the categories that pops up is demonic possession and i just casually hit it and it's like fucking Chicken scary Parmesan. chicks with white eyes, like freaks me out so hard that I <laughs> I didn't even want to like engage anymore. I was like, I'm done. Yeah, it kind of sounds like those two things would cancel each other out. The like the uh, trying to go to sleep and then demons. It's a uh, but you know some people like that. Some people are really into that. Yeah, like a like a sucky buyer or something. Oh yeah, we we've. we've um, oh, I wonder actually if I have. Hold on, let me see if I. No, not that one. Hold on. I have these sound bites. This is like Arcturian for you. So it's not that one. What about this one? A succubus fuckubus. There we go. Yeah, a succubus fuckubus. Um, yeah. We've done videos about the succubus before. It's fun. They're they're. An interesting concept, but I think it's all just yeah, about man. like sleep paralysis and Why nocturnal emissions. Right hell? Who doesn't? Who doesn't want to just nut right into the ninth layer of Dante's Inferno, man? That's yeah. the dream. That's, I, I bet it's warm. Um. <laughs> all right, buddy. Well, thank you for calling in. It's been. It's been good. It's been very good. I'm gonna let you go now. Okay. Because I'll say goodbye to you for like 15 minutes if you let me. Yeah, dude. Uh, all right. Later, man. All right. Thank you for calling. Well, wasn't that fun? Uh, was I supposed to do something else? Someone else had a karaoke for me. Uh, uh, watch the video Chopo Hunting the Dead. Yeah, I remember. That's the Succubus Fuckubus episode. Um, yeah, I had a karaoke from... Was that Mary? Was that Mary who wanted me to sing a song? Um, no, hey, it's all you're all good. You can call in any time. Um, oh, okay, it's you. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Let me grab this link here. What do you want me to sing? Why don't we do it in the road? Beautiful. Uh, that that one I know. And that one I can do. And this was a standard speed, all right? Standard speed we got here. Let's do, let's sing a song um, about 
not being ashamed of your sexuality. Uh, written by Paul McCartney of all people, of all folks. Um, here we go. Here we go. I love it. I love it. I love karaoke so much. Ooh, getting hot. Getting hot talking about sex robots for so long. It's, uh, I'm putting some deodorant. In the key of D, no less. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I have it slow. Never mind. Let me speed it up. No. Oh. Why don't we do it in the row? Why don't we do it in the row? Why don't we do it in the road? Why don't we do it in the road? Thank you, everybody. Thanks for tuning in tonight. No one will be watching us. Why don't we do it in the road? Why don't we do it in the road? Let's do it small. Why don't we do it in the road? Why don't we do it in the road? Let's do it big. Why don't we do it in the road? No one will be watching us. Why don't we do it in the road? I like the part where Paul McCartney goes, What? Why don't we do it in the road? Why don't we do it in the road? Why don't we do it in the do it in the road? Why don't we do it in the road? Wow! No one will be watching us. Why don't we do it in, do the, it in road? the road? Beautiful way to end the show. Thank you so much for requesting that. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you to our caller. Pig farts and screams and slapping sounds. Couldn't have said it better myself. Who should we raid today? Uh, and then shortly you'll find me uh, at this link here. I keep Please going for another hour for the patron friends. Um, and and I hate to tell you, that's going to be... I'll, I'll blast like right into that. That'll be a little shorter... Uh, well, okay. Can I give you the choice? Can I give you the choice? Uh, we can either do the patron stream now, okay, or I can just keep blasting through uh, to 7.30. The thing is that 7.30 is my cutoff. I got to do, I have to move my, I have to move my bed so I can sleep in it in a new room. I got to, I got to go, I got to pick up some curtains from little Thursday boys house. I got to do, I have, I have a lot of things to do, so I got to go at seven 30, but I just want to make sure that the patron people don't feel like, you know, like they're not getting their money's worth because I'm letting everyone into this one. So please let me know. Let's deliberate for a few minutes. Um, because I'm happy to just keep going because otherwise I'm going to go for like 10 minutes and then I can only go for a little bit longer. Happy to share? I'll take that. Hey. Well, you prefer the Twitch chat? Awesome. Okay, cool. Um, I guess it is up to me. Slap it. <laughs> Slap that bag. Okay, well, someone said they were going to call in. Uh, please call in. I have more. I have more crap to show. Um, who the fuck are you? My question to you is who the fuck are you? For a thousand you question points. me. Huh? Who the fuck are you? I bet you're fucking nobody and you just got fucking programmed by all the shit that fucking ATN is talking about. Oh, here we go. This is one heck of a show, my friends. We're really doing it. Hello. Hey, Chopo. Hey. Can you hear me yeah, I can hear you. You're on the air. What can I do you for? Hey, thank you, man. Uh, I, it, it, it's actually nice to talk to you. Um, Great. Watching your beautiful face for a while. Uh, I got a question. Um, yeah. 
I, I, I am a piss drinking fitness, uh, piss drinking fitness. Yeah. Yeah. Lying piss drinking Satanist. Yeah. Right. Right. I, I, I'm one of those. And unfortunately cool. I married a wife who was also kind of witchy. Great. And, uh, she, she's been burning candles uh -huh. and, uh, she's been doing rituals as well. Yeah. And the rituals she's done, they've actually kind of matched up with things that we've kind of tried to accomplish. And oh, great. I'm just wondering. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's wild. Like it, it's wild that it actually worked. But um, I, I'm just wondering, is this, is this things that, like, they just line up correctly? Is it coincidence? Or is it the fact that we are, we are putting those things out to the universe and manifesting those, uh, uh, I, I guess you'd say... God uh, enters my body like a body my same uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, great question. Um, I've, I've, I've touched upon this topic before, but I think what we can do is maybe we can figure it out together since it sounds like you have more uh, experience with it than I do. I, I'll briefly give you my take uh, and then okay. we can then we can play a little word tennis if you like. Um, absolutely, absolutely each other. Yeah, my take on it has always been that um, uh, well okay, so I'm I'm inclined towards the side of it is uh not quite coincidence but more of i think it, it's it's very easy to unconsciously uh sort of you drive a car you know what i mean you're not paying attention Absolutely. when you do that but you're looking forward you're look at you're watching the road and then you know you kind of come to and you're like holy shit have i been paying attention for the past 20 minutes and you have and so I, I think that these things like setting intention and all that, and, and then you and then you get kind of a you get a little a, a little tickle up up your up your back when the outcome that you wanted happens. I just I think it's one of these things that just actually adds up. Like you taught you you put a lot of thought into wanting something you put a lot of energy into it and then it and then it goes your way and it's like well yeah of course because then you also did the things to make that that outcome uh come true um but can you give me an example maybe of of did any of these things come true that were completely out of your hands like there's no way it could have been influenced by you physically or socially, but you think it was just the spell? Uh, well, that's actually a really good uh, question. Uh, so I, I moved to the new, the, the new state that I'm in and the new city that I'm in. Yeah. And originally, about a year and a half ago, two years ago, um, I piss test. I had to take a piss test for a new job. And yeah. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a degenerate pot smoker. You get ranked and, in your free uh, time. Right, right. You know, just get fucking ripped. Yeah. And uh, that's what I like to do. I'm, I'm on a computer. That's what I do. I mean, it just happens. You're uh, ripping the bomb. Just fucking hard rips. Just dank, fucking dank like, nugs. Just, like, listen to this. Listen yeah. to this. I bend over my bomb, and when I stand up straight again, I go, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm literally boofing bong hits all day. I'm boofing yeah. my bong hits, and my wife is casting <laughs> spells. Ask me anything. Exactly. Yeah. And she was like, no, no, we're, you're going to, you're going to be okay. And I was like, no, there's absolutely no fucking way that I'm going to pass this piss test. And, right. uh, she, she kind of read up on it. And I mean, she has it kind of in her family. She's kind of, she's from like, uh, Northern Pennsylvania, that kind of area. Uh -huh. It's apparently, uh, witchy, witchiness, uh, runs in her family. Okay. Uh, and, uh, she, she fucking did her thing. She lit a candle she said her, she said her piece. She burned a piece of paper. I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" She's like, "Don't worry about it." <laughs> in the jar. And I was like, "Do you, baby girl?" And oh, you're so supportive. I I got the job. You got the job. Like it, it, yeah, yeah. No, I like it, 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 seriously. It's shit like that. And I mean, uh, I just uh, I just took another career path change, and I'm going yeah. to IT. And she kind of did the same thing. But I mean, I, I can still smoke fucking dank nugs all goddamn dick day. But it doesn't matter because I'm God, IT. Goddamn dick day. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Do you know? Did you uh, did you test positive? But they just hired you anyway, or did you test negative? Uh, how are you? 
either way, I got the job. And I mean, I, mm. I think it's man. I, I think we should be splitting hairs here, Chopo. Uh, <laughs> but it, it was the fact that, like, she, like, it, I don't know if it was just that or it, it came back inconclusive. Or, huh. I guess uh, I was just wondering, that, like, um, yeah. and this is sort of beside the point, splitting hairs, as you said, but I think it's worth, I think it is worth digging into. Um, yeah, is yeah, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. is there a special candle that you light to transmute your partner's piss? Well, if I'm not, if I'm not taking it internally, then, uh, her, her PP is kind of left to its own devices and it does what it needs to do. It, it, it ages in separate jars and that's fine. We keep it for like, you know, skincare and things like that. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But like the spell that she cast, is it like a, is there a piss test spell that, I mean, I, I don't think necessarily a, like a, a specific piss, like a, a piss, like this man will piss clean. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah. But it, 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 either way, it's it fucking like she did her thing. And I mean, she did it. She fucking did it again like three weeks ago to where, like I said, uh, I'm quitting my job that I have right now, which is fucking horrible. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, she, she fucking lit a candle. She burned a piece of paper. Uh, she might have peed somewhere. I don't know where she peed. We, again, we keep the uh, the sacramental jars in other places. Sure, uh, but it it just I, I got accepted again, and now I'm 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 cleared for a fucking fully remote. I'm working in my fucking my wiener out position. It at home. It's the best, isn't and it? I, it, it ah, my my training starts in the thirteenth, and I, I'm just I'm just working like I'm just working. That's not a word. I'm wondering. Uh, like I said, I, I am a degenerate piss drinking Satanist. Yeah, and, same. Uh, I, 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 I mean, I, I believe in like kind of you know, you, you manifest what you get, and you, you if you if you put your your goals out into the universe and you try what you can, then you will accomplish them, and that's fine. But seeing my witch ass wife just lighting candles and I don't know popping her pussy, and then it just happens. Yeah. Can I do that too? Like, do I have to pop my fucking wiener head? <laughs> like, what? Don't pop your wiener head um, because you already got the job. Okay, so I want to make that clear. For sure, for sure. I want to make that clear. I want you to be safe. Um, well, okay. So here, this brings me to the next point that I've always said about manifestation is that, and, and you're there now, and and you tell me right. if it's comfortable or uncomfortable. But so you you cast the spell you said the incantation and it worked so now you're in a world uh where your piss can be affected by your wife's uh <laughs> candle burning and and uh recitation of of ancient uh words or what you know and so just the, the invocation of deities invocation More thank like. you thank you so so how does that feel because i imagine that that would freak me out a little bit, and it would it would actually complicate my life. Well, I mean, any normal person would be like, okay, I I, I married a, a literal fucking like house with chicken legs attached to it. Uh huh. But it's 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 nice to to have someone who's kind of like they they. I mean, she she's a oh, I love her. Uh, I can tell. Blonde hair, yeah, she's blonde. And big old bubbly, bubbly girl, and you'd never expect it, but she just has these fucking, it's almost like witchy powers, I guess. She has and powers. I, I mean, I, I, don't I, yeah, I, I don't believe in that kind of thing, but for some reason, her, her thoughts and the way she puts things out into the universe and the way that she decides to manifest things, they, they come to fruition. And mm. honestly, I'm almost intimidated by her. <laughs> do you, I mean, do you feel like, so you're, you're kind of, you're, you're sort of being convinced towards believing in this stuff. Is that, is that what you're saying? Almost man. Cause I mean, if uh, modern day Satanists, I mean, I'm, I'm all about the, the modern world and how we understand information that is given to us and, and how we, uh, delegate or not delegate, uh, how, how we, uh, oh, what's the fucking word? Um, but just pretty much how, how we interpret that information depends on the way we see the world. Sure. And if I have if I have if I have solid information in front of me, then I can I can uh, you know uh, either deny or, or accept the facts that are given to me. 
Yeah. Seeing that kind of, seeing that kind of thing and I mean fucking cannon burning, really? And like just burning pieces of paper and just waving it and then just like flick, flick, flipping me off and telling me to eat my own shit. Like, come on. But it's, well, it's, it's worked. Yeah. So I like, uh, I mean, are you happier this way or are you, are you happier, you know, sort of disregarding these things? Cause I think you could just be like, well, Hey, yeah, let's do the spell and hope for the best. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I mean, you're two for two, but, uh, um, right. But that's, you know, statistically, you're still within the realm of of uh, correlation, but not causation, I would say. Right. And that, oh, that's, a, that's a good point, Joe Folk, because I've always said correlation does not equal causation. Yeah. And I mean, that, that, that's, that's always been a real thing. It's, and I mean, coincidence has always been uh, preparation meets opportunity. Yeah. I mean, yeah. As, like, as, as a realist and so, as a Satanist, that's kind of been my whole thing is it's, it's always been, well, if I'm prepared for it and I have the opportunity for it, then I'm going to fucking make it happen. Yeah, like, sure. There was, there, there was no way that I pissed clean. <laughs> There's no way. I, it, it, yeah, no, absolutely not. And that, that's what's still kind of, I don't know, man. Well, it sounds, it way, sounds to I, me like, <laughs> like you're doing great. I don't know. I'd love to hear an update on this maybe in a in a few weeks or something if you've got any more uh, spells going on in your life but um i would i am curious though is there um any kind of reckoning that uh you know has has been spoken of to you you know piss in piss out sort of thing like <laughs> are you owed a uh i don't know a, a piss uh some some sort of misfortune in the form of piss now or what are you you know what do you think about that i mean other than the fact that we're good blue-blooded americans with good old-fashioned fucking brain damage uh that <laughs> and american american debt like it no that's pretty much it like I, i've had i've had no like negative consequences that's another fucking thing chill folks I am actively trying to get fired from my job <laughs> i have missed a day i have missed a day of work for the past like month at wow. once a week i've come in late and they still fucking refuse to fire me I yeah to fire me <laughs> i mean there's like a labor shortage right i mean well i mean it's, it sounds like you're good at your job and it sounds like you have a good resume and you know maybe people just don't don't care if you're doing bong rips for, through your booty hole I, you know maybe it's just not the biggest uh red flag for them you're going to be working from home whatever you know but i it sounds yeah my my take on the whole thing let's wrap this up nice neatly yeah for sure for sure my take on the whole thing is that uh if you if you want something and you make preparations for it and and to me that includes uh a ritual humans love rituals and everybody you know you don't have to be a satanist or a witch to have a good luck charm or a lucky pair of underwear uh I think that influences your behavior. And so, you know, maybe you came in to your piss test with, uh, you know, having done the spell and you're feeling good, you're confident, you tested positive, but your interview went well because you're like, well, my wife can handle the piss thing, so I'm not worried about it. You know, it's, <laughs> I think there's maybe kind of more to it that doesn't necessarily have to be magic, but just the, ritual influences your behavior and your mindset and there's nothing wrong with that and there's nothing wrong with believing that it is magic for sure for sure i mean i for 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 reference uh it's uh, i do i do i do like the the whole of and satanism thing but you know oh i love you know. satanism is great i spicy, you know. spicy humanism spicy humanism right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But, but, i got i, I got a lot of love for that yeah, no, uh, I'm not going to keep you too much longer. I appreciate you, man. Uh, I, lo I, I love you. I, I love you. I love you, too. And thanks for calling in. Well, how about that? When magic meets piss, huh? I'll tell you a piss story. Beautiful timing. I'll tell you a piss story. One time, a friend of mine, he, was, uh, he had a job interview coming up at a mill and he and he's like i need clean piss and at that time i uh i was not 
I was not taking any drugs. Uh, I wasn't, you know, I was a very good bad boy. And so he asked me, can I have some of your piss for this job interview? I said, okay, but how, are, how is that going to happen? Uh, and his plan was, I am going to get an empty Visine bottle. I'm going to bring it to you at the community college that we both attend. You are going to piss into the Visine bottle, hand it off straight to me. I'm going to keep it in my underwear to keep it warm as I go to this job interview and uh, urine test. Now, I did this. I peed all over my hand because a Visine bottle is very small uh, and, that, and I don't piss into a lot of containers really. Um, I pee sitting down, I'd say 90% of the time, just to, just to make that clear. So I pissed on my hand. I had to wash my hand. I gave my friend a bottle of my piss. He put it into his underwear. And then the, uh, that evening I said to him, how did the, how did the job interview go? How did the, did you pass the test? Is my urine as pure as I believe it to be? And he said, they did not test my urine. Um, so I had a nice big laugh knowing that a friend of mine went through an entire job interview with a small bottle of my hot urine in his underwear for absolutely no reason. He did not need it. He did not use it. I didn't ask what he did with it afterwards, but in, you know, a piece of me was with my friend in the, in that job interview and he did, he did get the job. So uh happy new year to my friend um great well we can jump back into videos uh unless somebody else wants to call i'll talk to you about uh fucking robots or piss magic whatever you want um give me a call but let's uh let's hop into this guy the magic of the record keepers is that they constantly remind me. And so this is about Lemurian Quartz, which is directly related to Mount Shasta and is very close to my heart. And give me Almost as close to my heart as my little piss bottle was to my friend's genitals on that fateful day 10 years ago. Me this feeling and vibration from a being who was at a level of awareness where they weren't trying to be anything. They didn't have any stories or roles they yeah. were trying to shove themselves into. They knew who they were. Let's get a countdown to the creepy giggle that this <laughs> with nail and eye vibes. <laughs> yeah, that's a deep cut. That's a yeah, comedy classic. All right, how long do we think till he does the giggle? I say 10 seconds. I'm going to count down from 10. 10. Without nine, even having to know, just eight, by being. Seven. Just by being six, you. Five. Are the magic four, that you've been looking for. Three. Every single two, bit of magic comes one, from one single place. Giggle. That spark in you. Service that spark. I'm telling you. <laughs> so ah, that I was a little off. Also, let's hear him say that again. Magic comes from one single place. That spark in you. Service that spark. I'm telling Jimmy, I do have your video. Let's we're, let's watch Jimmy's video in just one second. For. Every single bit of magic comes from one single place. That spark in you. Service that spark. Mom? Mom, get out Mom, of my get room. Get out of my room. I'm get trying I'm room. trying to service my spark. I'm trying to service my spark, mom. Get out of my room. That's correct. Jimmy, uh, we might get a nice one from Jimmy today. So this is the porn Foley artist, courtesy of our friend Jimmy. Let me bring that up here. Nice one, Jimmy. I appreciate uh, everything that you do for us. And uh, I love you and I bless you and I cherish, I cherish our love. Um, okay, here, hold on. I have to sign in to YouTube because it's just that nasty. Uh, here we, uh, here, uh, here we go. Well, a Foley artist is somebody that creates sounds for motion pictures. You might not know this, but in every movie you go and see, every sound is made in a studio like this. Screeching tires, somebody slamming a door. Or in my case, balls smacking against a chick's ass. The first movie <laughs> I did good. now for my girlfriend at the time's uncle. He was in the business. And um, he owned a little rinky-dink strip club outside Chapel Hill, North Carolina. And they did a lot of, you know, low-budget stuff there. 
where they were, you know, just doing some stuff on like high eight. And I was like, you know, I could really improve the quality of this. I do, you know, I do porn sounds as a hobby. And um, wouldn't you know it, he was like, give it a shot and uh, brought out the mayo, the pickle. And next thing you know, I'm, uh, I'm fast track to porn fully stardom. That's what guys want to hear. You know, when they're uh, you oh, know, taking no. care of themselves, they want, you know, maybe they want to take a look at it for a minute. They want to make sure they're, they're doing their thing right. So in their ear, they got to have that constant. There's this <laughs> one rule. I tell Gideon this all the time. There's one rule about porn foley. It's the most important rule you remember when you're doing porn sounds. It's not about making it sound real, right, Gideon? No. It's not about reality. It's about making it sound how you want it to sound. There it is. When you get in a, when you get I like that the other character's name is Gideon. Getting a good rhythm, you can really hear. There's getting off, and then there's getting off. And uh, I think I help. I think I help people everywhere, guys and girls, get off. I bet this was a fun video to make. That is a. Uh, that's uh, it's my assistant Gideon. He, uh, you know, he he. He's a jack of all trades. You know, he does uh, all kinds of different things, run out and get the products we need. And uh, he also acts as, you know, the skin. Sometimes you just need to hear something. The skin. skin. Uh, that's why I don't let him wear a shirt ever. Well, I am straight. Oh, yeah. Very straight. I'm straight. Yeah. Mr. Julius has been... Mr. Julius. I don't want to say a boss because it's so much more than that. He's an inspiration daily, a mentor. I just, he's more than words can express. He's a genius. It's like Michelangelo had an apprentice. And no matter how lowly the work seemed, it was for Michelangelo. So I don't mind any of the stuff that he has me That's do. fun. I don't mind. It's a privilege. What the fuck is this? Oh, sh I love a good mockumentary. The you know, sir. This? That's that's for uh, what I meant to say, sir. Uh, for my sandwich. That's not. I know it was in the prop, the prop closet, but now, sir. If, if we're yes, making sir? a delicious sandwich, Hellman's is the mayonnaise to go yes, with. Yes, sir. Because of it's course. a delicious mayonnaise. Yes. Hellman's. If we're making. If we're trying to, you know, make the sound intercourse, then I'm gonna need some goddamn Miracle Whip. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Now give me some goddamn Miracle Whip. And you know what? Make me a roast beef sandwich yes, this sir. year when you're done. Yes, sir. That's what it was for, sir. <laughs> that is just, you know, that's how great he is. And my original <laughs> thought was, you know, if a guy just wants to, you know, smack it around for a little while, he should have the right, if he can find it, and he should be able to... Oh, we got a whip crap. When he started coming out of my pocket, you know, people started saying, well, I can get that for free. Why am I going to go pay for the DVD? And uh, I just think that's ridiculous. I work, I work damn hard. I'm the only person in the business doing this. This is the big finish. <laughs> no one else does this sound. Now I'm buying mayonnaise with money out of my pocket. Nice. Nice one, Jimmy. <laughs> there's uh there's movies with bad porn foley and there's movies I do. That's the real deal. I've you seen a lot of things. Is. I've never seen that. And you ain't never seen a porno. I've never seen oatmeal on a man's back. Stay where you are, boy. That's good. Nice one, Jimmy. Hey Jimmy. Nice one, Jimmy. Oh, baby, where were we? We were on the Lemurian crystals, huh? Um, I mean, what else did I get? There was another, um... Oh, fuck yeah! yeah thank you. There was a, uh... Another, a Sasquatch family reunion of 2022. I got a Zoom, I got a Zoom call about Very that. exciting. Okay, and we are officially alive. Is it is it really real? It's really real. It's really happening. Okay, well, hello, everybody. 
I am Kat Udero, Psychic Empath and Psychic Wrangler. And before we see who I've wrangled in today's show, let me welcome you to Third Eye Salon if this is your first time or if you are a repeat offender. So these people went to the Sasquatch Family Reunion 2022. Been through life. Remember that the Sasquatch Family Reunion is where we got uh, loved of and some other stuff, but mostly, mostly loved of. Language. As I opened myself a few years back to light language, I realized I had a lot of things inside of me. Yeah. I felt. But when I, the first time I opened myself, I realized how much was inside. And this is something that I can relate to. But they felt kind of suppressed. And I realized as I was doing this light. I don't think it's the Christian Sasquatches, but I kind of feel like a... <laughs> but I kind of think that it's a, all in all inclusive <laughs> i think all are uh you know, all are welcome at the sasquatch family reunion as far as i can tell language and being open hearted to it that i was actually all about getting opened up actually connecting to all the fragments of all the beings that have aligned with me mm. my inner soul collective yeah i see a soul as a collective and everything is fragmental so you have a fragment of Sasquatch, you have a fragment of fairy, you have a fragment of oh, everything out there. Yeah. Orion, Lyran, every, it's all in there, including the reptilian. It's all mm. <laughs> And we're all having... Like John Lennon said, we're all Sasquatch inside and we're all reptilian inside. We just have to work on the good part. Bits and fragments. And as I had the opportunity... To, uh, oh, I remember that Bigfoot brought brought me to Jesus. Yeah, maybe that was. Maybe that was from the Sasquatch family reunion. I'm not sure. All this light language to go through. I had the I had the opportunity to sit back and be the Four, observer. 444 chopos. That's the right so amount. I did that. And I allowed. Now, I didn't take it on as truth. I just took it on that these are different expressions. But as I did that, I realized that I was getting to know all my other lives and all my other lives were getting to know me. Mm. And as you do that, it's very much that unified, like you're all handholding and you're changing the past and you're changing the present. And I'm kind of surprised that you were just holding hands after you opened yourself up to a room full of people, but you're changing the future. I mean, sounds like a nice party consciously. And you, it's all about healing. Anything that I've learned about healing um, with humanity. I haven't watched that Bobcat Goldsweet Sasquatch film. I would like to. Is that benevolence allows itself to be absorbed, but then grows from there we within. Go. Thank you. So if there was really a Joe. to a benevolent earth, earth allowed it. Let's skip forward. Let's see what um, Kelly Butterfly has to say. We've uh, heard from the man. Did and... Uh, Every gathering around the world, it seems like, was being canceled. Uh, but this... And words, man! We made them up! Hey, I'll take the case. Thank you for calling in. It was really great to talk to you. Um, Sasquatch taint hairs in my throat, of course. Um, call in again anytime. Uh, yeah, I have I think this was like your first, first time chatting in the chat. And it definitely seems like first time calling. So, yeah, thanks. And call call in anytime, and please uh, please join us on Tuesdays. You're you're a hoot. <laughs> and, um, so uh, yeah. Anyway, and so we we found a way to gather at a campground, you know, out outdoors where we're able to have a hundred people at once, you know, without a alarming any officials and things like that. And and um, and so it was especially due to the circumstances. Bill was going to bring the skull anyway, uh, but it was especially due to the circumstances of, uh, you know, ignoring, uh, well, basically practicing free will. You know, I was going to bring my skull to the party Joe anyway. I was 18 and interested in my indoor <laughs> outhouse. I was already planning on bringing my skull, but then I thought about, you know, well, this could also be an exercise of free will, couldn't it? And then I absolutely brought my skull. I thought, there's no way I can leave my skull at home. I mean, listen, I was already going to bring the skull, okay? The skull 
was already in my car. The skull was in my glove box. It was coming. The skull, the skull was going where I was going. Okay. But then, you know, I sat down and I was thinking about, like, hmm, what could I do to exercise my free will? Oh, I know. Bring the skull. So anyway, I brought my skull. And still doing what we're called to do, still doing what spirit is, is leading us to do to get together uh, to honor each other and to honor nature and the Sasquatch and all of the star nation. It absolutely could be an anti-masker thing. You know, I wouldn't put it past him, but I also think that sometimes you just really got to like, you know, you don't just buy a skull to leave it on your mantle. You don't just buy a skull to leave it on your, on your, on your, uh, the surfaces of your chambers. Do you, did you really buy a skull for that? Or did you bring, did you buy a skull to bring it to a party, to bring it to search, to share it with your friends. A skull, a skull in isolation is a, is a skull gone to waste. I have always said this. And things like that. Um, and so we had Bill and the skull come out in 2020, in September, 2020. Bill and, and the skull. Uh, so we had a, a powerful, you know, ceremony and meditation with everybody there. Um, it was really like a, a bridge being built between, um, you know, these different nations, the humanity and the star nations and even uh -huh. the, the crystal people and, and of course the Sasquatch too. So this was like um, the first time, it, at least more recently, that the Sasquatch... Listen, we had Sasquatch at the party. We had the star nations at the party. And let me tell you, each one of them came up to me and said... Did Bill bring a skull here? Is that Bill's skull? Listen, listen, I've, you know, okay, people think that, oh, you're Sasquatch, you shouldn't be surprised by anything. No, that's a guy holding a skull. That's a man holding a skull in public. That's a man holding a skull near children. And listen, I may be a cryptid, I may live in secrecy, I may have people hunting me down day and night. But that is a grown man holding a skull at a family-friendly gathering. And I have never seen anything so offensive in my entire life. Chicken Kelly, Parmesan! Kelly, thank you for inviting me to your family reunion. But I respectfully, I respectfully distance myself from you and your organization. Because your friend Bill brought a fucking skull to the campground. Bill, Bill, you sick fuck. You brought a skull to the campground. Listen, I'm covered head to toe in hairs, all right? I've got fur, you could say. My brow extends a full inch further in front of my face than yours does, Bill. And even I, even I think you're in the wrong here, and I think you know it. Bill, you put that skull back in the car. You turn that engine on and you drive far away from here, Bill. And don't turn back. Lose my number, Bill. Bill? Bill? Bill, you hear me, Bill? Okay? You're not you're not just Bill anymore. You're Bill, you're skull Bill. People are going to say, "Oh, should we invite bill to the party and someone is gonna say skull bill are you are you joking bill you fucked up you fucked up when you brought that skull to my family reunion bill who the question, fuck are you my question to you <laughs> is who the fuck are you to question me huh who the fuck are you I bet you're fucking nobody, and you just got fucking programmed by all the shit that fucking ATN is talking about. Thank you. Thank you, Eldritch Gravy. Hey, thank you to everybody. I have to go run several errands. <laughs> I'm not defined by my skull. I am the universe experience being experiencing being human. So far, pretty cool. My name is Bill, and I have a skull. Um, I do have to go get my curtains. I have a new bedroom. Um, but I can't, I don't want to sleep in there without curtains. It'd be, it's, it'd be too bright in the morning. The sun rises so early. Um, so I'm going to go get my curtains. I'm going to move my bed. Um, I probably got to do a couple other things too, but thank you so much. They are indeed meat curtains. Not, they don't have a meat design on them, but they are meat flavored. Um, 
I love you all. Thank you so much. I had a great time. This is always a highlight of my week. I love it so much. Um, I wish you all the best. Thank you for hanging out with me. I give you all a big boy.